back. It's been quite a night here in Baltimore at the Miss USA pageant. Before our eyes, we've seen 51 contestants turn into 15, then transform into 10. And now, for some godforsaken reason, we're asking five more to leave. <laughs> It'll be okay, Billy. There is a lot of emotion on this stage, mostly coming from Billy right now. You can feel it. The tension is so thick in the air right now. Only five of these young women get to advance to the next step. The judges have cast their votes. Don't be concerned. Judges, your decisions affect the course of these young ladies' lives. Not that big a deal. That said, thank you. And now here are the results in random order. First, California. Join us, Florida! I kind of want to end this thing right now, but we move on. Two left, Kentucky! Rounding out the top five is Illinois. Congratulations to the top five. Well, we are approaching the round that determines everything tonight. The final question. All right. What we've learned about interviewing people is that before you get to the big question, it's always a good idea to loosen up the subject a bit. That's right. So time to relax, take the pressure off, and learn a little bit more about their personalities, beginning with California. Hi, California. I understand you know how to do sign language. I'm sorry? I'm, I understand you know how to do sign language. Oh, I'm learning sign language right now. Actually, uh, I'm a math, comm, and poly sign major, and during my off time right now, because I was preparing for this, I took a sign language course. So I wouldn't say I'm fluent, but I hope to be in someday. How do you say thank you very much to everybody out there thank watching? Thank you very, very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a I can do that. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. California. Thank you. North Carolina. I understand you represented the United States at a press conference with the president of Curacao. What were you doing there? I was actually there as a representative. Um, we were trying to figure out the future for a local children's hospital. Um, they needed a lot of funding for plumbing and supplies, and we really wanted to get the community involvement there. So I was able to work with the president of Curacao at that time to do so. What's been the best part of your week so far here? The best part of my week so far is watching Carolina win the national championship last week. <laughs> I'm a huge Carolina fan. Even though I had to watch the second half in my room by myself, I was running up and down the halls cheering for everything. <laughs> Thank you very much, North Carolina. All right, here we go, Florida. How are you doing? Oh, I'm great. Thank Hi, Florida. I'm pretty Hi. impressed. I read that you actually started your own business. Yes, I did. Ampex Granite. It's a granite import company in Central Florida. How'd you get started with that? Well, I'm what you would call a construction brat. My father and my grandfather were both general contractors. Mine so, too. Yeah, I already had the knowledge in the industry, and I knew I wanted to start something for myself, and, and I did it and hit the ground running, and that was about a year and a half ago, and it's going strong. Wow, you're an empire unto yourself. Thank you, Florida. <laughs> Kentucky. You are rowdy. I love this. You're the proud owner of a cow. How's that going? Well, luckily, I'm not responsible for the cow. My generous grandfather actually takes care of her, so, you know, I don't have much to worry about. Ever milked a cow? I have not milked a cow, and I don't plan to either. Yeah. Could you do it here live for everybody? 
Well, if, if it was here and you wanted me to, I would probably give it a shot, but I don't know how pretty it would be. This could take this thing right into the tank. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Illinois, come on over. Now, we were, we were just talking about cows. We might as well move on to alligators because I understand you've done something kind of interesting with alligators. Yeah, um, actually, I went down to Florida and we went on... Um, this boat where we were surrounded with alligators and I wouldn't get off the boat so it was one of the scariest experiences of my life. Let's talk about men for Good a second. Idea. What do you look for in a what do you look for in a man? What's a perfect man for you, Illinois? People are wondering. Um, you know that's a good question, Billy. You know? I, I slightly taller, I'm sure, but what else? Well, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it depends on who they are inside. Uh, someone who's sensitive, strong and I don't know, could make me laugh. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Billy's very funny. Might be He's Mary. Mary. All right, great talking with all of you. Good luck tonight. Imagine only one of these ladies will be hearing her name called tonight, and we're just minutes away from that big moment. One of these five finalists will start the most exciting year of her entire life as Miss USA 2005. Who will that be? We'll find out when we come back. Here's what these women are thinking now. What on earth am I going to be asked on national television? It could be anything, and that's what's so scary about it. I'm sure glad I don't have to go through that again. Net, the final question is next as Miss USA 2005 pageant returns live from Baltimore, Maryland, here on NBC.